In this EFT tapping video, I want you to think about a time where you still blame yourself for something you did. It might be something that happened in school, it might be something that happened at work, it might be something you did to someone else, it might be something you did in raising a child. You still think, God, I shouldn't have done that, I should have done better, you know, I've done this thing wrong. We're going to tap on that idea of letting go of the blame. Things are in the past, you can't change them, and continuing to beat yourself up about it is actually not going to make things any better for you. So remember again that we start from the karate chop point and tapping those two together in whatever way is comfortable for you, and I'll get you repeating after me. So think about that situation, identify the intensity of it, and then begin tapping. And repeating after me. Even though I still blame myself for what happened that time, I want to begin to accept myself anyway. Even though I still blame myself for what I did that time, I want to begin to accept that I was doing the best I could. Even though I still blame myself for what I did that time, I'm open to one day in somehow forgiving myself for what I did. Come up to the top of the head, blaming myself for what happened that time. Coming down the eyebrows, blaming myself for what happened that time. Side of the eyes, blaming myself for what happened that time. Blaming myself for what happened that time. All the blame I still feel when I think about that situation. All the things I think I should have done. All the blame I still feel when I think about that situation. Any regret I feel when I think about that situation. All the blame I still feel when I think about that situation. Now remember we've just done one round. Check in on that particular situation, that particular event where you still feel blame for yourself. Think about what's different about it. Think about what emotion feels different now. And think about how you feel about yourself after doing that first round of tapping. What other aspects come up? Is it what you said? Is it what you didn't do? Is it what you still think uh, about yourself for what happened? So let's continue on into another round and we'll get rid of all those remaining aspects. Coming back on the karate chop point. Even though I still blame myself for what happened and maybe I shouldn't let go of it. Maybe I deserve to be punished for what I did. I want to begin to accept myself anyway. Even though I still blame myself for what I did. I choose to accept myself anyway. Even though I still blame myself for whatever happened in that event, and I'm really good at blaming myself. I've been doing it for a long time. I'm not sure I can let go of this blame. I'm beginning to accept myself even more anyway. Up to the top of the head. All my remaining blame when I think about that situation.
all the things I'd wish I'd done differently. All this remaining blame I still feel when I think about that situation. All the thoughts I still have when I think about that situation. The blame I have and the, the way I beat myself up about it. All this remaining blame about that situation. All this remaining blame about what happened that time. All this remaining blame I still feel when I think about that situation. All the remaining things I wish I'd done differently. And even though I still wish I could go back and change them. I'm beginning to accept who I am now even more. Back on the inside of the wrist. All this remaining blame I still feel when I think about that situation. Even though I'm not sure if I'm allowed to feel better. If I think I should still keep blaming myself, I'm beginning to accept myself even more. Now one of the things you may have noticed that I did in that round is I used some of the setup wording while we were tapping through. You can use that anytime on any point. If you feel the desire to change the words as we go along, as different aspects and feelings come up, just include them in. Use the words to express what you're feeling. Now tune back in on that event that we were working on. Check the intensity. What aspects are still left? Has it, the feeling changed? Has the viewpoint changed? Has the way you feel about yourself changed? And remember to continue to repeat the tapping process until you reduce it down to zero.